let us just go right ahead and uh, jump right on in, shall we? Ah, <sighs> it's been a while since I played this game. It's one of those games I played a crap ton of really, really long ago, way far out in space, <laughs> in a dark, dank place shunned by starlight. There was this creepy planet floating alone. The beings of this world were creepy. They spent their time staring creepily into space. Just creepy daydreamers, right? Wrong. They were searching. Searching for a new home. At last. They fix their gaze, their creepy gazes on a distant world, a land of beauty and peace. Oh ho, young masses Mario and Luigi, I'm anxious, I've anxiously awaited your arrival. Indeed, the princess craves playmates. I'm afraid she's rather tantrumy. Hello, hello, Adam. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well myself. How about you? Ah, press up to walk to the room she awaits. Please go there at once. Please. I say, what's this hullabaloo? What are the princess? <laughs> it's Baby Bowser. I, Prince Bowser, am taking Princess Peach with me. You two babies can scram. Absolute nonsense, I rather think that you'll do no such thing on God. Poor Toadsworth. Even in all ages, he's useless. Your turn, Super Diaper Bro. I love how the noises are goo goo. Uh oh, no. I like how Luigi and like Peach are just like chilling in the corner. Young Master Mario. Sorry about venting a moment ago. Is this your first battle? Shall I perhaps instruct you? Nah. Ah, truly, very well. You are the young master, after all. I love this game. Drat, I almost forgot. You can also dodge the flames. Hmm, truly, very well, young Master Mario. Ah, uh, yeah. Huh. The writing for these games are just exemplary. So, like, I'm always excited for these games. Though there's one Mario game I've always wanted to play that I've never played, and that's the original Mario RPG. At some point, I'm going to have to get my hands on it and play it. I'm, I'm a prince. I can't lose to you, blurg. <laughs> It's the invasion. I can't even imagine how cramped those saucers are. Just big enough to fit one person. You have played it simplistic, but it's fun and has one of the best pieces. Oh, absolutely. Uh, famed inventor, Professor E. Gad has completed his time machine. Machine's energy source, this amazing cobalt star. The unveiling took place at Princess Peach's castle and was seen by luminaries near and far. Princess Peach was reportedly overjoyed by the contraption. So overjoyed the fact that she promptly set off on a voyage to the Mushroom Kingdom's past. Of course, her able ward Toadsworth is beside himself with worry. Details at 11. 
Yeah, there's some real good old Nintendo music. Princess! Please return your majesty. I say, I am simply beside myself with worry. <laughs> no need to worry yourself, my machine's safe as can be. Why, there's a 99.9999% chance the princess will return. <laughs> Horror! Oh, he's dead. Toadsworth? Wake up, Toadsworth. Oh, he worried so hard he KO'd himself. Right, I'm sure he has a refresh room in his room. Could you go get it? I love how there's a refresh room right now, but like one doesn't exist elsewhere in the game. You know? Don't you just love the, uh, just one-time use items that are just for shits and giggles? Like, that, um, um, what's it called? The, um, whatever that mushroom block is from Superstar Saga that just absolutely wrecks Mario's shit. You know? <laughs> Then again, it's not that hard to wreck Mario's shit, apparently. Or Luigi's. All you need is a ghost for Luigi. Bada bing, bada boom. Where's Deadsworth? All oh, right, the throne room is where Deadsworth is. Ah, they got him a cot already. Toadsworth, any final words? Can I have your cane? Princess! Dr. Speakman, will Toadsworth recover? Oh, the prognosis is grim. Let's see, regards to levels, um, the more you pick one staff for a bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta make sure you, uh, mix it up. Afraid our dearest Toadsworth has worried himself into a state of shroom shock. Without the restorative properties of a refresh room, there's not we can do. Oh, Toadsworth! Though you could still probably do just as fine just boosting one stat over and over. Huzzah! I mean, I beat the game as a kid without realizing that you could change it and only boosted my HP levels. The time machine's return. Something's amiss though. What could have gone wrong? Oh, princess, welcome home. Your majesty, I've been fraught with. <laughs> right. Wait, Master Luigi? I was a dumb kid, so I didn't realize you could change it. <laughs> so I had bitchin' stats, uh, uh, health, but that's about it. Ow. 
Master Mario, it's been some time. No. I already said that in the past. Why do you have to remind me now? Drat, I almost forgot. You can also dodge them. No. No. Senility, you right? Senality. Yo, old poop. Good job, Mario. No, son of the princess! No, no, no! That awful monster! Just take it easy now. She wasn't this feller's breakfast. My DS time radar puts Peach somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom of yesteryear. Time radar? Time radar? You just made that up. Where'd this monster come from then? That I don't know, and with the time machine this dinged up, we're not going anywhere. What's that? Calm down and speak slowly. A mysterious hole has appeared in the garden. Hmm, it's possible that, that the return of the machine tore holes in the time continuum. To the garden, fellas! Look how lazy he got is. He's just like, I don't feel like actually walking, so I'm gonna jump onto your map and walk from there. Much easier. Ah, Luigi, are you on your way to the garden? Okay. Said, how about you stand guard and keep that thing from escaping and oh, eating everyone? No. Oh, no! Oh, I see. Well, if you'd rather not, I guess I can't force you to do it or anything. Who knows what the future holds, though? Could be you might face even worse things. Oh, hey, tell me. Are your jumps coming along just as good as Mario's? Because his is the best. Yeah. yeah, listen, no offense, but next to Mario, that just seems underwhelming. Know what I mean? Show them what you mean. Yeah. Yeet. Seriously, Luigi, try jumping like that. Uh. Wow, that was super. That was a great jump. Worthy of Mario himself. I don't see how having hops makes you like super great, but you know what? Whatever. Luigi's got them hops. Hopperinos. Hopscotcherico. Butterscotchies. As I suspected, it's a time hole plot device. Yes, sir, this time hole is a doorway to the past. No doubt about it, it appeared because of that time machine. Hmm. Careful there, young fella. If I'm right, that time hole leads back in time. Yep, to a younger Mushroom Kingdom. Question is, where in the Mushroom Kingdom? The other question is, if a fellow were to jump in, could he even make it back? <laughs> Use this time hole to rescue the princess? Now, mm, oh, there's an idea. I'd bet dollars to donuts that's our best chance of saving her. Master Mario! Ma Ma Master Mario, the princess! Where's Princess Peach? What were those lights? What's that odd hole? I demand answers, sir! We're like, nope, we're out of here. Master Mario! Everyone's just like, we're out of here, yo. The Holly Jolly Village. Well, it is almost Christmas time. What? <laughs> Watch the leather, Professor. No need for the shoving. Oh, you must be Mario. Mm -hmm. According to the Professor, there should be a Luigi here as well, but I don't. Or just like, mmm. Mm. Oh, my, are you Luigi? I. Sorry about that. <sighs> I am pleased to meet you. I'm known as Stuffwell. Professor, he got invented me on what is called a suitcase. 
Yes, of course. Send me back in time to be your assistant. Yes, assistant is accurate. I'm more than just some place to store your belongings. I have many complex sensors and various memory apparatus for data retention and, uh, well, suffice to say, I'm very technological by contraption standards. I'll be a big help. Uh-huh. Why don't we get started by opening me up? Okay. I love tutorials, especially forced ones. Yes, yes, loaded! Yes, yes, the top screen. This is how much time has passed. Yes, coins and health. Ba ding ding ding. <laughs> Wants to know your location. Now! No more learning my location. Back to adventure! A peep a poop a toot a peep a Poor Luigi. Luigi the cry eegy. He cry eegies. Da 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 Mario! It's not inconvenient. I would like to proceed with basic tutorials. No! I have played this game for decades. I do not need to know how to play this game. Look of God. I'm older than you combined. Mario's jump is like super floaty in this, actually. It's kind of weird. Mario, Luigi, do you see the gaps? No. <sighs> you know what? Just because you said that, I'm going to do it the hard way. Yeah, that's right. I hit A and then B. I didn't hit A and B. Bitch. I do things difficult. are some weird enemies. The village! Dank! Purple! Mushrooms! Giving me tutorials! Ugh. For the love of God! I know how to play the game! The thing I'll need to remember how to do is what's coming up later, but I don't actually need it, because I'm good at this game. But you're gonna do a little bit less damage. And now it's gonna attack Luigi! I 
I didn't mean to say, teach me your tutorials, you son of a bee watch. Back to adventure! Let's go! Battles seem a lot like slower than um, Superstar Saga. Just a little annoying, but you know, whatever. It's like, speed it up, boys! I keep trying to double jump when I land on them, and it's clearly not working. Because Mario doesn't get a double jump. Technically. Hmm? Huh? Wow. Luigi! Are you operational, Luigi? Do you need service? You've taken some damage. Let me explain how to use items. <sighs> For the love of God, no enemy does exactly 16 damage to you. Teaching me things. Stuffle? Or I'm gonna stuffle you full of falafels. And then let them rot in there. Let's go. Luigi, you are lack of late. Bah, Hamad.
Let's go! Oh, glad to see that everybody decided to leave. I just love this sour Christmas sound. I really would like to see a, like a 3DS or even a Switch remake of this game. What do you think? Would you play a Switch remake? Of Partners in Time? to the yes. I think they need to remake all of them. Like, the original Mario. Uh, is, is anybody there? Hello? What happened to those awful shroob things? Are they gone? Me? I'm the mayor of this village. Nice to not see you. I was trying to hide from those shroob things and got stuck. Must be a way out that doesn't involve dieting. Ho ho! Safe at last. <laughs> hey, help! Meanwhile, high above Holly Jolly Village, the Koopa Cruiser cruises. Emergency! Emergency! Princess! Ah! 
Oh, oh, Princess Never Fear, my dear Toadsworth is here. Come, let's get you to safety. This is the Great Prince Bowser. Neo Minions! Okay, now get up. All personnel to the bridge. Poor Luigi. A baby since birth. Everyone's just like, well, yeah, of course they were a baby at birth. Hey, do that. He's crashing this away too. Get your tails to the bridge. I wonder if your own little spots can do it. These guys are little tater tots. Man, that's a bunch of just OSHA violations and shit like that. Like, what? Time to show these alien jerks what a Koopa Cruiser can do via the Koopa Cannon! Fire! Fire! Wahahaha! <laughs> I'm just so dang evil, I hope they felt honored to be shot down by me! You're the best, Prince Bowser. You're a Koopa's Koopa! Wahaha! <laughs> Hey! Call that piloting! Pay attention, Sky Nerd! Gun spells, huh? There, four o'clock. Those villagers are under shrewd attack. Your your orders? Should we help them? Aw oh, man, it's half past snack time already. We we saw nothing. Everybody clear about that? Great hoogly boogly, the princess does not approve of this, young Master Bowser. Abandoning these folks is reprehensible. <laughs> My ears shall ruin us all! Fine, I'll help them! They'll just shut her up! Koopa Cannon Fire! <laughs> there, happy. You two take care of things, everyone. You go get them, Red. You two, Greeny. Here's time travel shenanigan questions. Like, what? What is with this? So clearly the past has been attacked, but why does Mario and Luigi and Peach and Toadsworth and everybody else not remember this in the present? Like, time has consequences. Right. I should tell you, you should press Y! I enjoy the fact that everybody has a towel. All fair, but still. Oh, 
What do you think about the fact that they got rid of your, like, bro's attacks with bro items? Did you prefer special attacks, or do you like buying items? I'm terrible with these. Toadsworth is just like, you will use these until you win. This I swear it. Rose moves are quite a, a lot cooler, absolutely. Toadsworth, I bet you could just beat these guys all by yourself. With the amount of bro items you've got? How many Koopas did you strip to get them? What's your favorite bros item in this game? Same. A lot better than the stupid trampoline. was rather close, eh? Now that I see these villagers up close, they bear a striking resemblance to the two of you. But who knows when more of those awful aliens will return. I best believe it is to take these two to Master Bowser's ship. Those monsters, their arrival seemed like a horrible dream. It was all so sudden. Foul parasites from the shrewd planet land of utter creepiness. Their purpose is oh so clear. They wish to take all we hold dear in the Mushroom Kingdom, our land, our very lives. Oh, the village is in ruins, and our beloved castle as well. F Flee! We must escape, the castle is lost! It's Bowser here, coming, coming! Get the Koopa Cruiser here on the double! My prince! Prince Bowser, let's hightail it out of here! And that is how Princess and I were rescued by Master Bowser! How oh, does that sound? And now almost all of the Mushroom Kingdom has fallen under shroom control. Sad to report your badness, we are currently on approach to Princess Ca to Peach's castle. I once beautiful castle, no. Look at it now! No doubt, those fiends call it Shroob Castle. Rumor has it their leader is there, Princess Shroob. Eh? What's that you say? Princess Peach is being held prisoner in the castle? Ho oh, ho, surely you just the princess is quite safe and sound right here with me. Hmm? I beg your pardon? The future Princess Peach? The future Master Mario and Luigi? Ho ho ho, you poor fellows. Your noggins must have gotten bong. Perhaps a nap. <laughs> Status report now. Your foulness. We're receiving some sort of transmission from Peach's, I mean, Shroop Castle. A transmission? Put it on the monitor. Let's see it. 
パンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパンチャトパ Evasive action, Cooper Cannon, fire! No, no ammo! What? You're fired! Direct hit in the arse! Those alien dirtbags, we gotta hold it together until we get back home! Well, they somehow managed to hold it together. Don't ask me how. But. It's just one disaster or another with you two, isn't it? I. Though it's not really our fault. Well, my keen detection skills don't pick up anyone else in this immediate vicinity. <sighs> hmm. Perhaps they were all thrown clear by the crash flood with the destruction and exploding. According to my ultra radar, a new time hole has appeared somewhere in this castle. I think it may be advisable to find this time hole and return to our own time for a while. What do you think about uh, Bowser's inside story, Adam? That's another fun one. That will be happening not after this game, because after this game we'll probably do another Nuzlocke. Randomized, of course. But after that, we'll probably do Bowser's Inside Story. Let's go. Good old mid bus and blocky. Let's go. I'm on my rail. That one too. Yeah. The one part about that that's gonna be really hard to stream will be the fact that the um, the uh, tank battles are gonna be annoying. And then, I'll be honest, I only barely played uh, Mario & Luigi Dream Team, so I don't really know anything about Dream Team. I got it for the 3DS, and I, like, started to play it once, and then I never actually picked it up again. <laughs> Oh, come on, Luigi. You're better than this. You're heckin' better than this. There you go. And of course, how about some, uh, divisive uh, options? What do you think about, <clears throat> dare I say it out loud, Sticker Star? And of course, 
That's what it felt like. It was it, Bowser's inside story, except for it was Luigi's inside story. Let's go. I say Goomba, I go Squishumpa. Yeah, I that was another one I started playing and I was just like, I really don't like this game. And then the one game I've never had the option to play would be uh Paint Splash? Was that what it's called? The it's the uh, Wii U one. Color Splash? Color Splash, yeah. Now I've never played Color Splash before. <laughs> and then there are the babies. <laughs> well, we were talking about uh, some other games, not this one specifically. Poor babies. Oh. oh. Mario. Luigi. <laughs> babies. What the hell shouted <laughs> babies? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> yeah, that is not a hard feat. You should use me as a causation device. Oh, yeah. Let's go. But yeah, I agree. It's not that hard to be better than Sticker Star. <laughs> I've located the babies. Back to adventure. Mario. It's time for a piggyback ride. Forgot to mention how to move as a group of four. See, they're child. Hmm. Babies. <laughs> Yippee! Look how happy baby Mario is. Look how sad Luigi oh. is, as always. Let's see, and then the only other Paper Mario style game I haven't played yet is the Origami King. I know nothing about Origami King. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing this group of four is vital. Come on, little humans, move. It's a piggyback ride. Convenient. Requiring the use of uh, four people blocks. That would surely stop the Mario Bros. Unless they teamed up with themselves. Tiny human holes.
There we go. Nailed it. Nah. I find it interesting that they have the options, like... Like, this is their way to force you to go as a group. Is to just create these blocks where you need four people. As well as to give you just the ability to, like, launch somebody up there. And then, like, use the pipes to get them up there. It feels like a waste, almost. Prince! Prince Bowser! Aha, you, you little red and green insects. I did, didn't I try to kidnap you once? Yeah, I did. Boy, that didn't work out so well, and you don't look quite so little anymore. You're much hairier, too. Yeah, but none of that matters. You, you like bothering our budding master of evil, do you? Then I'll bother you up. Let's go. Okay, okay. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Kamek's like, I'm bored playing with you, you nerds. Get out of here. Don't let me catch you here again. That's the butt nut song. Fuck! 
Fucking A, Mario. You flat fell flat on your tuchus. I think at one point in one of my playthroughs of this, I had Baby Luigi doing more damage than Luigi. To be honest, isn't that hard to do because Luigi is terrible. It's all about the equipment and leveling and your luck. Wait, there are puzzle blocks in this game? I thought the puzzle blocks were only in, uh, um, in Side Story. Am I thinking of different things? Bro, it's been a hot minute since I've played both of Inside Story and the other one. Mario, Luigi. If I may, this is an unfamiliar block. Are you aware of how to hit and activate them? Yes. Really know how? Of course. So I don't have to show you. Yep. Then back to adventure. Ah, uh, they're event blocks. Got it. So puzzle pieces are in the next game. Gotti. Uh oh. Not the fight I want. Wrong button. Much better.
Ah, uh, poop sockles. Cannons brought to you by Amazon, back before Amazon was a cannon delivery service. Brought to you by drones. Shy Guy Drones. This is where Jeff Bezos got his idea. Not saying he ripped off Nintendo and King Bowser, but he ripped off King Bowser. Double fours. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ducky. Ha ha. Lucky! Treasure. My favorite. That's not ominous or anything. What do you suppose that is? It appears trashable, but it may also be something of incalculable value. I think it's supposed to be take it with us and investigate further. 
We got a shiny. Oh, shine, yeah. So, how you been enjoying that funk lock, Adam? Enjoying that new team we got? Right, take on the world. Are you jolly good? Oh, absolutely. Mario and Luigi, that's the new time hole. Back to adventure! Pardon me, you say we should leap into this ridiculous hole? Absolute rubbish! Do you honestly believe that I would place the princess in such reckless endangerment? Come on, it's time to go back to our own era. This blathering nincompooterk is just arresting our progress. Why, you scoundrel, how dare you refer to me as such, and it's an income poop! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Halt! I say what cheek. You, I dare say, are the true income poops! Come back here this instant! Slip and slide through timey wine. Through time rewind. <laughs> just like that, here we are, back in our own time. Let's hustle a over and see the good professor. If you're unsure where to find him, just look at the top screen. No, you can't tell me what to do. I'm my own independent Mario player. You know, if you go by like the history of Mario and Luigi, shouldn't we have a wishing star summit to stop any kind of invasion like this? Like, why can there be an invasion when we can literally just wish them away with the power of the wishing stars? Hello? Hey now, back at last. Stuff will inform me that you were bringing little fellers back with you to this time. Just look at this now, they're in red and green. I'm plum astonished. But then again, what else would the little fellers be wearing, huh? Sure, still so sure tickles me to see little bros teamed up with the regular big bros. Professor, I must inform you, the Mushroom Kingdom of the Past is in gargantuan trouble. So it's true, these shrewd creatures have made off with the princess, eh? Gotta do something, it's the princess, man! Oh, I should have mentioned, Professor, we recovered this at the, uh, castle. I feel shame that I cannot identify it, I have no similar records in my database. Yowza! That's a cobalt star shard, the time machine's fuel source. Why was it in Bowser's castle, and how did it get broken? Good gravy! Cobalt shard is driving that monster crazy. Right. The Paper Mario series is in a completely separate alternate universe. Every single one. Mm. Could it be? Yep, it could. Do you believe there's a link between the Cobalt Star and the Shrewd Marauders? Maybe we can figure out how to defeat those alien jerks if we find more Cobalt Star shards. Possibly. Mario, you gotta do it! Oh, yeah. 
That shaking was not natural. I'd wager a new time hole just opened up in the castle. Such how directed to the other shards that are scattered in the past. You, Mario, Luigi, you youngsters, get going and find those cobalt star shards. Oh, uh, by the by, if you care to check on the star shards, like to just open up stuff all. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I don't care about your damn badges. Mario, you're a scavenger. Oh, hey, look! It's Prince Paisley! And Chocola Beans! Oh god, I hated the stairs one. Totica. Everyone's just sad, though, mostly that Genos hasn't shown back up in the series as, like, an actual character in, like, decades. Yep. I did know that Stash does have a little bit more importance in this game, but also at the same time, meh. There's one thing I can't do is remember which ones A, B, X, and Y. 
Yeah. We need more Geno. Another reason I want to learn or I want to play is because I want to experience all the... I want to experience Marshmallow Fluff and Geno and, um, you know, fight Wario. <laughs> I know a smattering of information about uh, Mario RPG. Like, can't you get, like, what? Like... Don't you find Peach's dildo? And there's another one. If you get, like, a hundred Jumpman combo, you get... A Metroid reference? Or something? I don't remember. Like, there's so many broken things in that. A villain, I dare say. That is her. That child you're hurting, so she is the princess. Is she not? Keep your distance. You're not clear to address her royal highness. In the short time she's been gone, she's grown so small. This is why I was so opposed to that infernal time device. Someone? Anyone? Print trash? Villain? Print trash? Oh, come on. This castle deserted. Protect! <laughs> Protect! Villain! Protect! Villain! Protect! And the link one, and the hundred one gets an item that's not worth it. Ah, typical. I feel like Mario and Link constantly go back and forth with uh, referencing each other in games. Wind Wanker, Wind Wanker, Jesus Christ. Uh, not even Wind Waker, even. I was wrong on all accounts. On, um, Link's Awakening, there was the Chain Chomp. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. I like how baby Luigi just like, is just like, moving his arms up and down while Mario is like, riding my bike, riding my hand bike. Baby Luigi's just trying to entertain himself. Fucking A. Alright, I guess we're officially referring to it as Wind Wanker from now on. People wonder why I always uh, have too strong of a British accent. Ah, you wind wanker. Wait, that was more uh, schoolish. Help me! I hug the trees too hard. It hugged back. Ario. Miss. Huh? Mayo. Basically. It's Totica. Mr. Mario. Mr. Mario. I am called Totica. I was on the time machine with Princess Peach. As, as soon as we arrived in this time, we were attacked. The saline race known as the Shrooms came out of nowhere. Oh. What is on Totoko's cheeks? What's happened here? Mm. Who are you? Peach was taken by the shrews. That was captured by the trees of this forest. 
These trees are slowly but surely siphoning away all our mushroom power. Our vim, the pure vim that flows through the roots of the trees deep, deep underground, it has gathered the shrub vim factory in the heart of the forest. Rumor has it the mushroom power is somehow changed at the vim factory. It's mixed with an awful chemical. It becomes the fuel for the shrub's flying saucers. Mario, you must leave me. Hasten to the Vim Factory. It's all that matters now. Somewhere in that horrid place is a Cobalt Star Shard. I just know it. The Cobalt Star and Princess Peach. Mamma mia! <laughs> the shards gather. You know what they say about that new XXX remake of the Wind Wanker. Wind's not the only thing that Link seems to have a bit of control over. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I went with that. Losing Fim! Let's go. <laughs> nah, it features the link we all expected. first scene where Link finally decides to say fuck Princess Zelda, we're getting our own thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. 10 out of 10 Tetra above uh, Zelda, that is all. Tetra best Zelda variant. But unfortunately, Tetra is in two of the th is only in three games, and two of them are the absolute worst. Phantom Hourglass and the Choo Choo Kachu are the worst of the side games. I hated them both. We did stream them, by the way. Fuck. She does have that strange Eldritch personality. I wish I could get my hands on a CDI or whatever those were called so I could play like the O O O O G Legend of Zelda's. Which game was that? That could have been that one. I cannot remember which game we argued where wa if water is actually wet or not. It would have been that or Wind Waker for show. Sure. 
For the record, water is not wet. Water is just a sensation we have attached to water. That is all. But yeah, I want to play like the Wizard of Gamlin and like those other absolutely terrible games. Ugh. You just don't get quality like that anymore. Oh, no, 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 they are terrible. Like, these are games older than the, like, NES, I believe, or whatever. Like I said, these are O O O O O G. Oh yeah, yeah. The best part is they were, f they had production cutscenes. Now, what's a production cutscene? Why it's a cutscene in which they cut to like a real person acting things out, and then cut back, except for they were missing like a thousand pixels. Ashless bros got a crit. These are children. They don't got magnificent stash and birds like others. Okay. Saw five on that baby Ouija. like completely like unfocus my eyes to be able to just not stare at where the um, shell was going just in order to hit those like I am so bad at those quick time response things but I mean hey
One. Nice! We did so much damage with that. Fuck! Watch me, watch me. I'm gonna use a Master Ball this fun clock and I'm gonna get that one in 6,985 chance miss. I'm gonna get the Gen 1 miss. And it'll be glorious. Nice thing is, though, our second attempt so far, no deaths. Well, we're only two episodes in, and no deaths, but still. I'll take it, you know? Let's go. Oh, for sure. We got a lot of good future potential people. And we haven't even gotten all of our encounters. Well, I mean, we have up to Brock, but like, we've still got like the rest of the game, you know? We still got that magic carp to get. We still got, you know, got lots of freebies and non freebies. One, there were sixes!
the babies. Let's go. Easy. Every time. Every time. Same turn defeats. Simple. It's nice and simple. Okay. I love how they'll only do this if they're out of the room or out of sight. Alright, cat wants out. Let's let the cat out. Dink a dink a dink a Let's 
Fuck the one again. Baby Ouija stash. The enemies are a lot more obnoxious in this game. Definitely a lot more sophisticated than the original game in terms of just like like pretty early on you're kind of like facing like the same old enemies that you can easily just defeat with like one quick turn not a oh this is a multi-turn attack and like oh and they're everywhere. Also, this one's not as open as the other one was, if you think about it. Like, you have your main hub, which is the castle, but then you just go to different, like, eras in time. Well, actually, there's only one area you go to. You just go back and forth from there. But, like, that's all you do. Is you go through time like that. You know? So you're not, like, walking around like the open world map, going wherever you want, within reason, like, you can explore outside of your, like, actual, like, ability, but, like, you will be punished. Type of deal. Because, like, there are some pretty tough enemies out there. God damn it, Ouija!
Rap, pap, pap, pap. The Toad Wood for Race. Area restricted all noob intruders to be hacksawed by us lead hammer bros. We are the shroop allies. We rock soar you and then raffle, then you am cry. We receive orders through antennas on these leet helmets. They are hotness. We must obey all orders. We like to pwn noobs for the master shroop zors. You equals noobs bros equals leet. Prepare for total pwnage. Woot, 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 woot. I have to say, that's a pretty bad, uh, pick of the spot there. Noobs still are not pwned. Continue pwnership until all noobs are pwned. The escape is impossible. We are too elite. We owns Ju. You will get flat zord by our elite hammers. <laughs> yeah. Horrible at anything mashing buttons. Whoa, my helmet antenna, it's broken on, oh, man. Yes! Hey, mine broke too. Talk about lucky. I mean, did you hear what was coming out of my mouth? No, dude, seriously, who talks like that? Anyway, I think these tots freed us. You think, you little taters treasured antennas? Right on! Seriously, thanks, dude, or bacon, we were not right in the head. So listen, you gotta let us do you, do you, to thank you by hooking you up with these spare hammers. Which don't even look like the hammers they were using! Now you can be hammer bros, but we better teach them how to use it. Look how freaking big his nose is.
Bum 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 Ball switch whack joy. Wall switch whack joy. That's my favorite game. Who doesn't love a good game of wall switch whack joy? Did you have a buy? First strikes with hammers in this one only give you stuns. Uh, 
Lucky! Found your buds, yeah, buds. Helping buds makes the world go bud. I guess you have to use the hammer. Like it to a foe. Let's go. 
Oh, easy peasy, squeezy my lemon easy. Let's go. Oh, doggy. Look how haunted that shit is now. Look at that. Look at those souls of the toads. Thank <laughs> you. 
to go. Okie dokie. It looks like Luigi just farts out the poison in him. He's just like, I did. It's gone.
Speedy Mario! Health, Luigi! Oh, I hate these. Ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, hi, cat. Bowser swiped our cobot star charts. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> losers! But you could get away with stealing my treasure from my castle, did you? Payback time, I'll take my treasure plus whatever you just picked up as compensation. Prince Bowser, let's scram. Cruel fate! We finally succeeded in recovering the second shard. Now this happens. Shame cycle initiated. We must return to our own time and rework our strategy. Strategy. Well, I had a cat on my lap for a couple seconds, then he was like, No. Thou shalt not receive mine blessing! <laughs> You've always showed up, ran into some persnickety obstacles, did you? I'm deep in the shame cycle, Professor. We nearly had a pair of fragments, but that young Bowser fellow made off with them both. <laughs> now, now, no need to get your leather lathered. There have been new time holes popping up here faster than toast on Sunday morning. I'll tell you, one of them is giving off tremendous Cobalt Star energy readings. I've no doubt that's the time hole you want. Yep, that's where Baby Bowser made his escape. Oh, Luigi, we must chase. Must have redemption. <laughs> oh, oh, before you rush off, I think it'd be wise to survey the rest of the castle. Another thing, this noisy fellow from the past running around with a baby. He ain't toads with her in the garden. Can you make sure there's no, you know, post poopsie going on? Look lively now, well, to me, we must please the princess, put your back into it. Uh, I'm absolutely spent. Pull yourself together, man. Smile, I say. Smile! Toads worth the younger. The princess, she will, she will stop crying. Don't to worry not, elder me. We have not yet begun to amuse. Arms out now. Three, two, one. Toads worth twist! Jolly good, elder me. Our charge is giggling. Hmm. This is an ability you guys already had, you two. Hmm. Oh, Masters Mario and Luigi ground right up, haven't you? I'm quite up to speed on our crisis. Bit of a sticky wicket. Old, old Princess Peach, the kingdom, you must save it all, and I shall be right here as you do, rooting for victory. Is that you say, old bee, you wish to learn our move? Well, if it will help you fulfill your duties, of course, it would be an honor and a privilege. Come, practice awaits. Chin up, old me, mustn't falter now. We're taking the call on this technique a speeding jump. Just 
think this spin jump will give you access to some awfully hard to reach areas. Now, time to be off! Ice flowers are great to use on bosses, though, because you can get them a deef down, you can get them an at down, you can get them a deef at down. And then you just smash so much damage on them. Oh, yes, I need a different ability to get up there.
Aw, oh, what a lemon in this film ain't cheap either. I'm surprised for a scoop and all I got are whiskers and a couple sap babies. Huh? Me? Kylie Koopa, Ace Reporter. The Koopa Chronicles best! You know about the giant egg? Yeah, why it disappeared and this thing has got a hunch it's connected to the shrooms. Thought I'd get the straight dope from the locals, but this place is like a morgue. Where is everybody? Speaking of fishy, this jump platform absolutely reeks of mystery. But I hopped up there and it didn't do do this. Come on! I wonder if I'm too heavy for it. So do me a favor and hop up there, will ya? Babies! Babies! Maybe later. I'm exploring. Ritzy work. See anything? Shh, don't make noise. What's the word? No, we must flee. What? What? Oh, this reporter just got that front page favor. A shruboshi, a shruboshi. What a scoop, it's huge, exclusive. Stop the presses. Ah, raspberries, my scoop snacked me. Yuck, it's all so goopy. You release them. Don't. Coming through. <laughs> Ugh. I haven't been this jazz in a blarg's age. I can see the headline now. Monster Yube from Shrub on Ravenous Rampage Tops. I, I saw an evil looking Magic Koopa head into that building just now, but... Gotta concentrate on the story. This could be my big break. Sex. Must find snacks. Score! Doesn't look like anyone's home, so I'll just help myself to the goods. Gotta wonder why this place is so empty, though. Whoa! You hairy jerks again. Chase me all the way to this stupid island, have you? How's that? Let's go about Star Shards back. Hey, I got my own problems. I'm a snack friend for Prince Bowser. He's on the cliff top. I don't have time for you guys. These snacks ain't gonna snack on themselves. Watch your beef, pal. I'm not tasting enough for you. I'm praying Koopa, you snob. You're lucky I'm in a rush. I gotta get these snacks to the Prince Pronto or I'll whip you whip that snobby pink tail of yours. Mm -hmm. 
Those are Yoshi cookies. Mostly just Yoshi crumbs, it seems. Kinda may have pilfered them all. Let's go. <laughs> Luigi's just like cookie, cookie, cookie. Okay. Boy, you doofuses, just get on a group of stay and stay there, don't you? I'll try this on for size. <laughs> zap, zap, zow! Unless those overalls are fireproof, you're gonna be barbecue, you weenies. Give up now. You think you're tough to make it to the cliff top, losers? Look at that tight guzzle, as you can see, Baby Mario sends in the water he drinks. That number? I don't know how many water drops he can spit up. He's topified. that I haven't seen since, like, one of the original Marios. The Pidgets. Thank <laughs> you. 
I always end up hitting those ones, and it's the worst feeling in the world. Okay. He tripped.
go, go. Bum ba da ba da. The Coco Nuttos are Nutto Cocos. Yeah. 
fucking me, dude. I think I'm gonna end it right here, and we'll pick up again with more out of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time next week. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoy, and until the next time, everybody, stay funky people.